so in today's video we are going to discuss about the resize observer web api which is very helpful in case of handling the responsive screen so we used to in generally basically we used to write responsive application with the help of media queries right but uh, in media queries there are few cases very complex cases when we have to deal with responsive design we cannot handle with the help of media queries uh, one of the example i can give you is like here on the screen if you have two divs and if one of the div sizes decreases and i want to change the color of the uh, first block from uh, yellow to red i can do this uh, with help of uh, media queries until i'm not changing the screen size right but here in this in, in this example i'm not talking about the screen size i'm talking about the block size if this block size somehow de get decreased and i wanted to change the color of this block from yellow to red i can't do this with media media query until the screen size is not changing right so with help of resize observer we can do that so here in this example if i if i increase if i add some text here so the div size is decreasing and you can see as soon as soon as the size is decreased to a particular level i'm able to ch change the color uh, to red i mean this is what my requirement is right so this is something cool which we can't do with media query so here we can use this responsive observer if i remove this everything like if i just remove this section and if the size reach to back to the same level so you can see again it is getting added back to the same color <coughs> so in another example you can see that we can also use this resize observable in replace of media queries in few cases like in second case if i just decrease the size of this uh, window then it should get applied a uh, different color here and it should uh, be responsive right so instead of two blocks i wanted to see uh, two blocks top and bottom instead of side by side parallelly right so this is what we do with media query generally if so similar thing i will do it here with the resize observables you can see if i decrease the size here now you can see that these two blocks are not top at bottom right and if i if i increase the size again then again we have two blocks in the same line right so this is something which is really cool so i'll show you how i will i'll do it so currently uh, <clears throat> everything is working because i have this main js here and because of this i mean if i add some text here the color is changing and if i decrease this window size then again the responsive view is happening right so this is all happening with the help of this main js and i'll show you how to do that from the scratch <clears throat> so we will not touch the normal design like we have html css file so this file is nothing i will show you what it is doing we have one container and this container we have two divs colors and text this color and text so color div is having this color by default and some text is written inside and second div is content editable here so i can add the div here and i can add my text here and also it is also having some default content in the css i'm doing nothing just a container here with this value and uh, we have color css adding colors and width and in editable text we have nothing just border and padding that's all so now let's move to our app js file here <coughs> the first thing that we need to do is we need to create our observer but that will observe this particular content so how we will do this first of all we need to go to html file here we don't need css anymore so in index file we have a container then color so the first example i will show you uh, whenever we uh, decrease the size of this color area it will change the color okay so for this we need the reference of this box first of all we will say const uh, uh, color box here color box equal to document mm, dot uh, document dot uh, query selector and we add class here <coughs> then we need to create our uh, resize observer uh, resize observer <coughs> so we will create a new resize observer here like this and this observer will, will have a callback entries uh, spelling is right i hope then <coughs> it will we'll just see first of all the what it looks whenever it get triggered after that once we have this observer ready so this observable will observe this box that we have on top clear box <coughs> so as soon as any screen change happen to this color box element this observer will get triggered and it observe is it starts observing this color box and as soon as this observer will triggered 
this callback will get fired and we will see what we have at this entire inside these entries <coughs> so let's run this code and see so instead of this i just need to replace my app.js here makes sense right so you know if i inspect this code here and uh, if i add it at bottom the console section i'll increase the size a little bit i'll clear it and refresh the screen yeah so initially nothing is there and if i add some text here so as soon as i add it add a text here text here and this uh, view size is getting decreased all these methods are getting called right so if i view any of this method the last one so this method is majorly containing all this box size content box size content react and target so all these things are but only we, we just need to worry about only two things content react and target content react is nothing it will just give you the current size of the div so all those things and target is our dom element nothing else so now what i want is whenever the size is reached to a particular level let's suppose a mobile device then i want you to change the color of this element so how i will do that so now we have entries so i'll just uh, first of all i just take the element uh, let's say let uh, <coughs> the box element is equal to entries and we know that currently we have only one element so it is going to give you the first element always and so we'll check this small size is small if screen size is small then how we'll check it so we will say if uh, oh spelling is missing my bad okay so now we have const, const is small here which is going to contain a flag which true or false based on this condition that we have added here if the width is greater than 600 then it will get triggered that means uh, we have reached to the uh, bigger screen size <coughs> so let's check it out our code what do we want on based on based on this condition so i just wanted to add uh, on my dom style some background color here so background color should be, uh, should get added yellow if screen size is bigger so we'll check uh, if screen size is bigger it should get added yellow and otherwise it should have red color oh sorry red color all right so <coughs> so you can see that by default it is greater than 600 so it is getting added yellow here but when I add a text here, something like this, and screen size decreased to the 600 size, it is getting triggered and adding the red color here. So we'll check the screen size here with the React content React. So you can see it is 565. It is less than 600, so that's why it is getting triggered. And if I add, if I remove some of the text now, now if I check the last element here, so you will see. Uh, not target content right so this is 600 right so as soon as it reached to 600 or more than 600 it is getting added yellow here so this isn't so this is cool right now i want to achieve the responsiveness so basically this is the example that we can't achieve with the help of media query right so anyhow we have to do something so this is something next time whenever you face this situation you have the solution already second case second case is when we, we i want to achieve the media query behavior like views text top then it should show me two boxes and if the view is a mobile view so i want these two boxes just at top and bottom place right every element should have 100 percent 100 percent space of the width like the mobile device does so how can we do that so first of all again we need container not container exactly yeah so because this the this is showing in two parallel spaces because we have added, added display flags here so inside display flags all the diffs will automatically display in a column view right so i wanted to change the change change that so for that we need the uh, first of all mm, we need a container uh, container and here i need to add class which is container all right so now this container need to be observed here so now if we will check this here are two different uh, elements here in the console.log that we have added here so because of these two observer we are observing one this box and second the entire container which is con combined two two boxes here 
so obviously the container width should be greater than the first box if we see here so we can see 789 right and if we check here this box is 622 so this is 622 and rest of the rest of the sizes of this box here in the container so just cool we are able to get the element reference now for about the boxes and container <coughs> so now what i want is as soon as i decrease the size of screen and it reaches to a particular level then it should get divided into two two different columns on top and bottom and each of the box should take 100 percent of space right so so how we can do that <coughs> so i'll show you so here in the color box um, here as soon as the event get triggered i also need the element of uh, this container element equal to so we know the second element is the container here so we'll just add a container this one and with this container exists then we need to uh, add element uh, styling here so before that we need container element uh, check as well right container size this because currently this small size is paid for this box element which is this section only but here we need to track the element size of the container so we need to create one more element here which is going to be container uh, container small or not is container small or not so for this we just need to add here this thing and if container width is uh, I'm sorry it should be reverse so it should get this one so we'll say container dot element or small is true then it should add a block here and uh, otherwise it should add flex here and it should get added to this container element <coughs> and it should be get added to display property right this is what we want. all right okay so now we i think our code is ready it should work fine right okay so let's test it out so if i decrease the size of this element now yeah so it reached to this particular level and you can see all the two all two boxes are showing in top and bottom view like we used to do in media query right if we increase the size again you can see again come back to the same ui <laughs> this is really cool right okay now what we why we are getting error here is uh, 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 uh because of because of because of this line number 10 because of this because initially when we touch to this particular size this is not getting generated here right so we can add a check here <laughs> so if it is there then only it will work cool right so problem solved if i see into one view looks good right no error now now if i decrease the size working right cool if it is to the same yeah it's working now so if let's let's check our previous code whether it is working or not this is also working cool this one is also working nice so that's all right so this now you can see that i mean how cool is that if you use it and the one important thing is like if you're not uh, the core css guy then i think this is can really help you a lot but yeah we know that we are doing this with javascript only but still we are using a lot of css here right so you still need to be good in css all right all right guys so that's all for today's video so i hope you have learned some, something today and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button of this video and if you're new to the channels please subscribe to the channel i always keep uploading this type of great content so thank you guys thank you so much see you in the next one have a good day bye